It's time for another top five. I'll make it all come true. Hey, it's me, Ferg, here back again with another brand new Call of Duty mobile video. And like I said in the intro and the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be looking in at the top five assault rifles for season 10 in Call of Duty mobile. And let's just say the king has been dethroned. Make sure to subscribe right now to help me reach my country's population and let's get into the honorable mentions first. So honorable mention number one is actually an old favorite weapon of mine, the HBR. I used to love this weapon. I still do. It's a great gun, but all five of the guns on this list, I just like way more than the HBR. It's still a really good gun though. Honorable mention number two is the M16, a great one burst potential weapon. It's amazing if you can get them in one burst. If you try to get them in two or three, your chances of surviving lower significantly. But if you're really good at the game, accurate, close range, it's a dominating weapon. Okay, now let's get into the top five. So coming in at that number five spot, we have a weapon that I thought might have been a little bit higher on this list, but it just doesn't do it for me. All of the damage things that you're going to see in this video will be the base damage, not including damage range attachments or damage attachments, except for one gun. Anyway, back to the AK-47. It's amazing. 33 damage close range means it's a close range killer if they're weak. However, if they are not weak, it takes four shots to kill rather than three, which for some other guns on this list is actually pretty slow. With this gun and with all other assault rifles, recoil is manageable with the right attachments. I would go as far as saying that the actual gun skill itself inside of Call of Duty Mobile since the gunsmith released has actually went down. You need less skill to control weapons with the gunsmith Smith update and it means high kicking guns like the AK-47 really don't feel like they have much recoil at all, meaning it's a great weapon for medium and longer ranges. For me personally, when comparing the AK-47 to all other assault rifles in the category for effectiveness of prime, which is kind of scattered, I would have to give it a 30 out of 50. And then for versatility, I'm going to give it a solid 40 out of 50, meaning it gets a total score of 70 out of 100. On to number four. Coming in at that number four spot, it is, of course, the ICR. One of the best long range weapons in the entire game. Minimal recoil. The only thing that's bad about it is its bullet spread accuracy. It may feel like it's doing really well, but if you don't have bullet spread accuracy attachments on it, some of the bullets may not go where you want them to. However, with that being said, it's still a long range killer. Close range drops off significantly, leading it to be right at the bottom of the top five gun list at number four. However, every gun in this top five list is amazing. Trust me. Anyway, let's talk stats. Now on screen, you can see the old damage stats for the ICR. Nowadays, it actually four shots close range. Unfortunately, there's no one on the planet who has went through every single gun since the gunsmith update to get all of the accurate stats. Just know that it four shots close range. That still kind of puts it at the bottom of the pack. However, longer ranges, it is insanely good. And that is why I'm going to be giving it a solid 45 out of 50 for effectiveness of prime, which is longer ranges, and a 37 out of 50 for versatility. Medium to long, pretty decent, close, not too much. That gives it a total of 82. Let's get on to the number three spot. Now this may come as a surprise to many, but the number three spot is going to the old king, the DR Edge. With great damage stats across the board without a OTM, and with the best damage stats time to kill out of pretty much every gun in the game with OTM, you'd think it could have been number one or number two. However, the rise of two other weapons in the game have taken it off the top spot. However, it still holds a good place in my heart. I love the DRH and probably always will. It sounds great, feels great, looks great, it's great. Thankfully, we actually have some statistics for the DHR. Here's all of the relevant ones right 
here. As you can see, good time to kill, good damage. The only thing that really lets it down is the lack of attachments because you have to use one for OTM and then you have to cancel out the negative effects of the OTM attachment in order to make it accurate, etc, etc. Which is exactly why it's number three on this list and not a top two weapon. For effectiveness of Prime, however, I will have to give it a 49 out of 50, which is close range. It is reaching uncharted territories for close range killing capabilities with its faster fire rate than the other two weapons on top and its high damage. For versatility, it drops a little bit lower with a great score of 41, which gives it a total score of 90 out of 100. Fantastic. Let's get into the number two spot. So the number two spot goes to none other than the ASM-10 close range killer. 34 damage close range means it can three shot similar to how the DRH can three shot. However, you don't need an attachment on your gun to make it insanely good close range, which means you can have good ADS speed, good bullet spread accuracy, and great vertical or lateral recoil, whichever one you decide you want to be controlled better. Similar to the DRH, we have a bunch of statistics on screen right now that you can see how good the ASM-10 really is. It's fantastic. I really enjoy using it, and it feels good when you're running around the map with it. However, you guys want to know what my personal opinion is and what the Fergo meter says? For effectiveness of Prime, we're going to give it a 49 out of 50. Exactly the same as the DR Edge, except you don't need to get really good close range time to kill by using an attachment. You can do it attachmentless. Is that a word? I don't even know. Versatility, I'm going to give it a 43 out of 50. Great overall among every range, which gives it a total score of 92 out of 100. All right, let's get into the number one spot. The number one spot, the king of the new throne, is the Man of War. Three shot kill potential is insane, and it is just a beastly weapon. In fact, since it's number one, it's my favorite weapon for all of multiplayer. Now, there's not many Man of War statistics available for us, but I've been told by Pathy XC that it three shots up until 10 meters and four shots up until 20 meters, which is nuts. That leads it at the top of the pack for close range encounters. It's also fairly versatile. The damage really doesn't drop off too much and you can find yourself getting five shot kills across the map with the Man of War. So for effectiveness of Prime, I'm going to give it a 50 out of 50. Perfect score for assault rifles close range. And then for versatility, I'm going to give it a 45 out of 50, meaning it gets a pretty solid score of 95 out of 100. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to live your life with purpose and let's roll the outro. Bye!